What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville back with another video. We are doing a what I eat in a day video and I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. I don't know if it'll be like breakfast, lunch, dinner or maybe breakfast, snack, maybe skip lunch, do dinner, dessert. I don't know. It depends on my mood and how hungry I am and how busy I get during the day. But for starters, we just want to, this is pretty simple, I'm going to eat watermelon. So I'm going to do a cup of watermelon. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to do a cup of watermelon and probably, probably my prunes. I eat five prunes every day, no matter what. I wasn't even going to put that on the video because that's kind of weird but you know the dried up prunes um, I just use it for my digestive system along with apple cider vinegar I like to take that sometimes for my digestive system a couple tablespoons and some water and take a shot of it or whatever so yeah I'm probably gonna have five prunes um, a cup or two of watermelon I'll measure it and see you know what I want how much I want and then I'll log it in my fitness pal and that's how I do everything I get my food for whatever I'm craving I measure it I put it on my plate I log it immediately in my fitness pal I take a picture of it because I like to have those memories of what I'm eating and what it looked like in case I ever fall off the wagon it helps me get back on by reminding me and I do fall off the wagon I fall off the wagon all the time. I just want to say that real quick. I fall off the wagon all the time. I've been doing this three and a half years and I fall off all the time. I've lost 135 pounds, but I have fallen off the wagon is what they call it. Um, I just get back on. I've gone off for a few months before and got back on. I've gone off for a day or two and got back on. My typical is usually like if I have one cheat day or I go to a party and have a meal or we have we just had 4th of July and I have a meal it's usually like one day sometimes two of me kind of dragging my feet eating kind of picking at food eating what I want not logging on my fitness pal and then I just put my ass back in gear excuse my language and I put it back together I just get my butt back in gear and start logging my food again I need to log some people don't need to log their calories I need to log my calories. It helps me. Every day I log my calories and then I know at the end of the day when I'm getting close to the end, I see what I'm getting. Oh, you have 60 calories left. Well, you can have one rice cake. Oh, you can have a half a string cheese. You can have a yogurt or, you know. And then I stop and I just don't eat any more calories once I'm done. If I still feel hungry, I usually drink water and then I'm not hungry anymore because usually your body is hungry when you're really thirsty. So if you drink water before every meal, you'll realize you eat less because your belly's full of water and your body won't be as hungry because it got hydration. So water is very important. That's why I always say drink water, water, water. I drink a gallon of water a day and you can't start out like that. I didn't start out like that. I started out drinking like I lined up four water bottles and I would drink that every day, morning, noon, afternoon, evening. And then I went to five, and then I went to six. Pretty soon I was drinking a gallon of water, so I just bought a half a gallon jug and filled it up twice. So water is key. But I log my calories. You don't have to. Some people obsess over it, and, you know, there's days where I'm just really hungry and water doesn't do it. I'll go over my calories, but I'll log it. And it's like if I go over 80 calories or 100 calories, I go over. I'm still going to be okay. You're not going to gain weight from going over 80 calories one day or two days or 100 calories or 200 calories. You're not even going to gain weight if you fall off track for a day. You'll gain water weight, but you're not going to gain fat. You have to eat so many calories to gain a pound of fat. It's unreal. Google it. <laughs> Anyways, enough lecture. Again, we all fall off track. Just get back on. If you're doing what I'm doing, calories in, calories out, that's to me any any diet or lifestyle or journey you see out there it can be keto it can be OMAD it could be this it could be that I guarantee you they're all portioning somehow they're all moder monitoring their calories somehow even if they don't realize it they're eating smaller portions 
because even if you fast and then you go okay I have three hours I can eat whatever I want to you're not you're gonna be full you're sticking all that food and you're gonna be full and that's why you lose weight when you fast fasting I don't have a problem with fasting I've tried it I don't have a problem with keto I've tried it I don't have a problem with um, high carb I don't have a problem with low carb I don't have a problem with vegan vegetarian pescatarian like these are all good things because they're all trying to get your body healthier so any way you can get your body healthier where you're still getting calories in I think it's alright in my opinion I'm not a nutritionist so so I'm not a health professional well I am I'm in the medical field I'm a nurse but that's not my line of work so that's just my opinion anything you eat in moderation and a lifestyle can be good for you in a way you know clean eating in my opinion is always better I tend to choose um, nu nutrient rich foods cleaner foods for at least 80% of my food but then I got my rice cakes are not clean eating you know and they have some carbs in them and then you know I eat certain things like protein bars are not always the greatest to eat they have stuff in them you shouldn't eat but for the most part anyways enough on that lecture I was just trying to say you don't need to log your calories I do you don't have to portion control just look at your food look at the back of the thing like this says a serving is one rice cake just take one you want a sandwich look at the serving two slices of turkey okay take two slices of turkey you want if you want potato chips because you don't want to cut out any foods look at the serving okay 14 chips is a serving take 14 chips like just moderation calories in calories out is key to losing weight I truly believe that and again I'm not a health expert but I've lost 135 pounds and I've kept it off three and a half years and I'm still on my journey I'm still losing weight so I'm doing something right guys <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. First meal of day, I'm eating watermelon. I'm already snacking. I need to measure it out. <laughs> it's 60 calories for a cup. It's really refreshing. It's good in the summer. It's summertime right now. It's really hydrating. And then I'm going to eat my five prunes. I'm not a breakfast person, guys. Sorry. Sometimes I scramble up some egg whites when I'm in the mood on the weekend, but I'm just not in the mood for breakfast. So I will catch you back when... I am in the mood because it'll probably be lunch and I'll probably have a nice yummy lunch so catch you then bye guys hey guys I'm back with lunch so for lunch I'm going to have a golden delicious apple I'm probably just gonna slice it up and eat it like that but you could always dip it in some PB2 or peanut butter or whatever to make a nice little treat or drizzle it with some sugar-free caramel to make a nice little treat I'm going to have a pita I want to show you guys what kind of pita. Where did I put them? Sorry, I should have left them out. I just put them away. Um, here they are. Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Pita Breads. These are amazing. I've been using these for a couple years now. A half of one is 30 calories, a whole one is 60 calories. And for carbs, you guys, they have 6 grams of protein, 60 calories, and 9 carbs, but 2 of it's fiber. So you take the 9 minus the 2. So 7 carbs for a whole one of these. That's amazing. And 60 calories, way less than bread. And you guys, they are doughy like bread. They're good. They're really good. And they're big, like a half of one's the size of my hand. So a whole one, that's a good meal. I chopped up some cherry tomatoes and put it in there. I've got some romaine lettuce, lots of it in there. And then what I did is I mixed up some of my favorite. Boathouse Ranch. This is 45 calories. I've been using this for three years. It's amazing. If you've never tried it, Walmart, Winko, Albertsons, Safeway, they all sell it. It's in the refrigerated section of the produce section. So where the salads and all that is, you'll see the refrigerated dressings. They have this. Boathouse Ranch. They have all different flavors, but this one's my favorite because I love ranch. 45 calories, you guys. You cannot beat that. 45 calories for two tablespoons. 
I mixed it. The reason it's orange is because I'm making these like a crispy buffalo chicken wrap. I mixed it with some Red Hot. Red Hot has zero calories. So I took a tablespoon of this, two tablespoons of Boathouse, and I mixed it together. I'm going to put it in my pita. We are going to make fast food the healthy way at home. And let me see, it'll be 150, 60, 70, 80, 92, 210. 220, 30, 40, two, 255 calories for the pita wrap with the chicken, with the fried chicken and everything, and then 80 calories for the apple. So under 350 calories, you have a whole meal, and it's fast food time. So I weighed out three ounces of Tyson's air fried chicken. I put it in the air fryer to just heat it up but you don't have to. You could pop in the microwave for a couple minutes and it will be crispy. The air fried chicken is so crispy. I highly recommend it and it's not deep fried so you get less calories. I've done the nuggets and I just tried these. Let me zoom out here. There we go. Air fried chicken breast strips. That's what these are. And I'm going to pop them right in here like this, just like that. And then I'm going to top it with some of my boathouse. I'm going to spread it in there. And that's my meal. I might dip it actually, just dip it in my boathouse. But this is my lunch. Let me get a good view of it. Like that's a nice lunch for under 350 calories. If you make all your meals like that, you have room for dessert and snack. So you can get three meals, dessert and snack, and lose weight. Like, who said you have to starve? And who said you have to eat crappy? These are crispy fried chicken strips without all the oil. They're delicious. This is a pita wrap. So even though I'm low carb, I still eat carbs, and this is good for me and it tastes like bread. It's really good. I still can have ranch. I just have to choose a better option of ranch. I can still have fruit. I just have to choose to have one or two a day and not multiple servings of fruit. So you can still eat healthy. I mean you could still eat, how do I say it? You could still eat yummy foods and still eat healthy. So I would eat this on a normal day without losing weight back in the day. I would have like a KFC wrap or I would have um, like a chicken BLT wrap. It's the same stuff but those ones probably have like a thousand calories and this whole thing is 350 calories. So just choose better options guys. This is my lunch. I'll see you back for dinner. Bye guys. Love you. Hey guys. We're back and I am making dinner. So you guys have probably seen this one time on a different video because um, I have showed it one time but this is what I'm eating and this is a what I eat in a day video so we're showing it again it's crab salad it's one of my favorites however I'm using imitation crab one it's cheaper two to me it tastes pretty similar so it doesn't bother me it's just fish imitation crab is like a very lean mild fish and this one's sweet, tastes like crab to me. So let's get into the video. So here's my container of crab. And then I'll just zoom you guys in on what I'm doing. So you can see. I've got eight cups of imitation crab. It's just flaky, yummy, mm, goodness. I have four cups of um, diced up celery that I just diced up myself. I like a lot of celery in it. One, it bulks up your food if you add a lot of vegetables to any of your foods. Um, those of you that have been doing this a while already know that, but if you add a lot of vegetables to anything you're eating while you're cooking it, steaming it, anything, it bulks it up. So that's why I add a lot of vegetables. Plus the celery gives it a fresh crunch that I love in the crab salad. 
I have a half a cup of diced white onion going in. You can use anything in here that you want to use that you like. There's no rule to what you have to use. I love this. It tastes so good. It's so refreshing, especially in the summer. And the reason I love it is you can have a big portion for like, I think it was 90 calories was my portion. I'll have to look on my fitness pal. But it's very low calorie, guys. The um, crab that I get, I threw it away, but it's right here. It might be hard to see. It's called Alaskan Snow Legs. It's 90 calories for four crab legs. The crab legs are about five inches to six inches long. And I just shred them up. I just like break them up into the bowl. And it's uh, four pieces for 90 calories. So you can have four crab legs, big ones or decent size for 90 calories. So this is eight cups worth. I did the whole thing. So it says this will be, oh, this is 10 servings. So what I'll do is I'll break it down in my fitness pal, 10 servings, and then I'll count the celery, but that, and I'll count the mayonnaise. But other than that, I won't count anything else. As far as counting calories is what I mean. I don't count the onion, it's not enough to count. Okay, let's get this move in. I chopped everything up ahead this time so you guys didn't have to watch a 40 minute video. <laughs> I'm going to use four tablespoons of mayonnaise. I don't, you don't need a lot of mayonnaise. Once this sits a little bit, it's going to let off some liquid from the celery and stuff and it makes a nice little dressing. And I add a little vinegar to my crab salad and some lemon juice and it makes like a coleslaw dressing. If you guys have ever had coleslaw and you like it, you'll probably like this crab salad dressing because it's very similar. All right, so we've got four tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then apple cider vinegar. I usually get the Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. This is just store brand. Um, where we went, they were out and I needed some, so I just grabbed this. But usually you wanna get the Bragg's or any organic apple cider vinegar that has the mother. The mother is that floaty stuff at the bottom that's so good for your digestive system. I know I'm always yakking about my digestive system, but it's important. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of vinegar to four tablespoons of mayonnaise. I'm gonna do some lemon juice. I don't have any fresh, so I'm just using the stuff in the bottle. I'm gonna do a tablespoon. It keeps it fresh, it keeps it so it doesn't spoil, and it gives it nice, refreshing flavor. There's one thing I forgot. I'm going to add sweetener. So I use stevia for my sweetener. You can use sugar, you can use um, monk fruit, you can use stevia, you can use um, NutraSweet, whatever you want. Whatever you want to use, you can use. I use the stevia sweet drops. Hard to tell if you can see it or not, but this is what I use. And you don't need a lot. You just need a few drops. So I'll start with five drops and go from there. I'm going to season it with some salt. I'm going to season it with some black pepper. I use a lot of black pepper. If you don't like seasoning, don't use it, but I like strong seasoning. And this is a lot of food, so you need a lot of seasoning. I'm gonna use some chives. You get all these seasonings for 99 cents, you guys. Yeah, you can see, okay. 99 cents from the bottom shelf on most of your grocery stores. 
I'm going to use a sprinkle of garlic powder. I'm going to use a pinch of cayenne. I like a little bit of the heat. If you don't like it, leave it out. And some tahine. This is like a um, seasoning that people use on like Mexican corn, if you've ever had Mexican corn, or sometimes on mango cups or stuff like that. It's really good. It's like a chili powder lime seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle some of that in there. This is all just flavor. None of that had salt in it except the regular salt I used. So you're just getting flavor. I'm actually going to use a fork to mix this because this is too big. Okay. I'm going to mix this up real good, and this is going to be my dinner. I'm going to eat this, and I'll probably have a white cheddar rice cake on the side with cream cheese and everything, um, bagel seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning, except you guys know I make my own. I do the minced onion, the minced garlic, a little bit of salt, and some poppy seeds. This is really full. <laughs> I'm spilling it everywhere. I hope your guys' week is going good. I know there's a lot going on in the world right now. And I just say this more than once, I'm sure, but. Let's try to love each other and show love and show kind gestures to each other. We're all going through it right now in one way or another. And you don't know anybody's story. You don't know their background. You don't know their family. You don't know their race. You don't know their culture. You don't know what they believe in. So before we judge, let's love each other and show love and show understanding. This is, this is a time where we definitely need to show consideration and understanding for each other and support each other and lift each other up, not bring each other down. Because there's a lot going on out there right now with just everything, guys. And I think it's, it's a hard time for everybody. Some more than others, obviously. I don't even have to speak on that but it's still a hard time for everybody it's a lot to go through and it's a lot for our kids to go through it's an emotional wreck out there we got to show our kids you know love each other don't hate each other now that i'm done with that little lecture let's give this a taste let me show you what it looks like Okay. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try it on camera because it just looks good. I want to try it to make sure I have enough sweetener and lemon juice and stuff like that. It's got a little bit of everything in it, a little celery. doesn't need anything really well I might add a little bit more tahine mm, that's good I haven't had that in a while it's really good a few weeks <laughs> I haven't had that in a few weeks I won't say forever but I'm gonna sprinkle a little more of the tahine I think that's how you say it tahine that's how my family says it and there's a lot of Mexicans in my family so <laughs> tahine So I'm going to mix that up, and that's going to be our dinner. I'm going to have it with a rice cake. This one is um, not the white cheddar. This is the everything bagel rice cake. So I'm going to have one of these 
with um, a tablespoon of cream cheese or a half a tablespoon of cream cheese probably I don't need a whole tablespoon and then I'm just going to sprinkle you know my seasonings on it the garlic the onion and the poppy seeds to make like everything bagel topping and I'm gonna have that with my crab salad and that's dinner so hope you liked this hope you share it with other people that you think are trying to be on a lower calorie healthier journey they're trying to like portion or they're trying to eat healthy share my video with them if your mom or your grandma or your auntie or your uncle or your sister or your niece is trying to you know start a health kick journey just to get healthier you don't always have to lose weight <laughs> The cayenne pepper. You don't always have to lose weight, you guys. It's just about being healthier. So. <laughs> I should not be sneezing right now on video with COVID. It's COVID times. I'm over here sneezing up along. I promise you guys I'm not sick. It's the cayenne pepper. Um. Anyways, yeah, if you know anybody that's on a health kit journey, even if they don't want to lose weight and they're just trying to be healthier, eating smaller portions of cleaner, healthier foods is always good for you. And this is a very clean type of dish. It's very light. It's very refreshing. It's very clean, easy ingredients. That's how you want to eat majority of the time. You're human. You're going to enjoy a snack. You're going to enjoy, you know, other foods. But majority of the time, it's good to try to eat a little bit cleaner, a little bit healthier. But I'm a foodie, so I always have a snack here and there. And I always try to find foods that I enjoy on my health journey. I'm going on three and a half years, you guys. Three and a half years of from the beginning, February 14th, 2017, I think. 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, yeah. 2017, February 14th is when I started. And yeah, we're going on three and a half years. It's crazy to say it. Like, I've kept my weight off three and a half years, and I'm still losing weight. It's like a pound a month, maybe two pounds a month. It's not a lot. Sometimes it's none in a month. Sometimes I will lose no weight in a whole month. Sometimes I will lose no weight in two months. But I'm not gaining weight, and I'm not going backward three and a half years. So I'm doing something right. And I want to share it with everybody. So... I want, if one person gets healthier off of my videos, then I'm winning. So, love you guys. Thank you for watching. And, yeah, that's it. Not much more to it than that. You'll probably be back for dessert because I'm sure I'm going to take a shower, put on my jammies, other jammies, these are comfy, and do some dessert later. So, I'll see you back when I do that. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, back for dessert. So, it's nothing new. You guys have already seen this. Um, I'm in my pajamas, showered, hair pulled back, no makeup, and about to eat dessert. So, let's get into it. Chocolate rice cakes. I got two of them, and they're 60 calories each. Are they 60 or 45? Yeah, chocolate is 60. Cheddar and everything are 40, 45. I'm going to use my 70 calorie for two tablespoon cream cheese. We're going to Lop it out just like that. You really only need one tablespoon if I'm being honest. There's days where I don't have many calories left where all this would go over here and I would just share. Because it's a lot. Like, see, I can use that over here. You don't need all that.
So if you want a lower calorie one, like I'm not even going to use a whole tablespoon, um, just divide it, you know? You don't have to use two tablespoons to get the same flavor. And you can use a fruity flavored one too. I just use this one because I like it. It goes nice with the jam. It's like savory with the sweet. Makes a nice treat. Sugar free raspberry jam. Two tablespoons, so I'm going to put one on there and one on there. I do use the full tablespoon of the jam. I like a lot of that. And it's only 20 calories for both of the tablespoons. Ten for one, which is not bad. This is my favorite dessert, so I'm sorry if you've seen this, if you're a subscriber and you've seen this video before, or you've seen this dessert before, I'm sorry, but I love it. And this is a what I, what I eat in a day to lose 135 pounds. And this is what I eat because I love it. I tell you guys all the time, if you find something that works for you to keep you away from candy and junk, use it. If it's low calorie and it works into your calorie count or your journey or your diet plan, use it. I love this. It works for me, so I use it. I'm doing stevia and cinnamon, so basically cinnamon and sugar, but I'm using stevia. I just mix it and keep it in this little container with the lid so it's ready for me. And I'm going to sprinkle that right here. Now, before, if you watch my other videos, I always told you guys I switched to from the whipped cream, regular kind, to fat-free and back to regular because the carb count was different. However, I realized if I stay with the brand Ready Whip, fat-free, the carb is only one carb and five calories. So the other one was like a store brand I was using and it was 15 calories or 20 calories and like three carbs. But the Ready Whip is five calories and one carb. So this is your best option if you can find it. If not, then I would just get the regular store brand but the regular kind because the fat free has more carbs. But if you're getting Ready Whip, it only has one carb and five calories for two tablespoons. So I just wanted to correct myself on that because I know I said before, don't use the fat free. Use the fat free if you can find Ready Whip. But if you can't find a ready whip, then use the regular. So I just do one swirl around. It's two tablespoons if you do that swirl each, which is 10 calories. And then I'm just going to sprinkle lilies. These ones, I do dark chocolate chips, but right now I couldn't find them because COVID's going on and stuff is just weird right now. These are Lily's semi-sweet chocolate chips. They're like one or two calories per chip. This one says you can have 30 chocolate chips for 50 calories. The dark chocolate, you can have 60 chocolate chips for 60 calories. So it's just one to two calories per chocolate chip for any kind of the lilies. So I recommend them. They taste just like a chocolate chip. Mm-hmm. Let's plop some of these on. It's so good, you guys. This dessert, I just can't explain it, but I love it. And it's filling. So like I eat this and I'm actually satisfied. It takes a while to eat. It's big. It's good. So, you know, when you find something you like, you just stick with it until you get tired of it. And then of course, when you get tired of it, move on. There I go. There's my chips. 
and I just roll it back up and I clip it with a clippy. Sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon just to make it pretty. And that's it, guys. That's my dessert. So, that's that. Thanks for watching this video. That's probably going to be my last meal tonight. I do have like 86 calories left or 96 calories left, something like that. I have to type this in to see for sure. So I might do like one cup of frozen mango. Um, like an hour or so for one more little snack if I'm hungry and if not I just leave those calories and go to bed but just in case dropping stuff this is what I do for frozen mango you can get it at Albertsons or Safeway but any frozen mango of your choice is fine and it's so good and you can have 15 pieces of this which is like a cup and a half-ish, cup and a quarter, somewhere in there, depending on how big the pieces are, for 80 calories. I usually do two cups if I don't have these. If I have these, I have to see how many calories I have to know how much I can do of this. But I'm probably going to have frozen mango a little later after this, if I decide to. And that's it, guys. Have a good night. Love y'all. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe below. I read all your comments. I comment back. If you subscribe to me, subscribe to me. I'll subscribe back to you. Especially if you're a weight loss influencer or on a health journey or you do stuff with your family. I love to watch family channels. I'm all about women supporting women and men also. But I'm just about supporting each other. There's plenty of room for everybody to support everybody. Love you guys. Thank you to all my family for watching. I love you. I know you're out there. Thank you. Until next time, YouTube. Bye.